Welcome back. In this video, you will learn how you can add the recording details of your Zoom meetings into your Google Sheets and also uh, how to upload the recording file of the meeting into your Google Drive automatically. Okay. So here we are going to connect the Zoom application as the trigger application in the workflow. And as and when you are going to complete any recording of your any meeting, the recording details will be sent to your Google Sheet automatically as well as the file of the recording will be uploaded into your Google Drive automatically without any manual copy pasting. Okay, so it will surely save your energy and time and it will create a backup of your Zoom meeting recordings. Okay, and we are going to set up this automation without any coding very easily. So let's begin. So we are using Pabli Connect to set up this automation. So this is an automation tool and this is the landing page of Pabli. I have pasted this same link in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay, so you can just sign up right now from here. And after that, you have to sign in and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. And from here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the automation workflow. And here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as Zoom recordings to Google Sheets and Google Drive. Okay. So after giving this name, just click on this create button and you can see uh, the workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we are going to build this automation. So the trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the consequence or the response towards the trigger. So trigger is going to occur in a trigger application. So in our use case, Zoom will be our trigger application and completion of the recordings in Zoom will act as the trigger event. Okay. And the action would be to upload the file in Google Drive and save the details of meeting in Google Sheets. Okay. So here, first of all, search for Zoom in the trigger. Here it is. And it, it is asking for the trigger event. So the event would be this configure Webox. So this triggers on several endpoints like when you start a meeting and a meeting when an attendee joins a meeting and many others events is uh, connected with this a single configure webhooks event. Okay, so just select this option and it will give you this webhook URL. So with the help of this, we are going to make a connection with zoom application. And for that you can refer to this video attached here. So we have a separate video on making a connection with zoom. You can just watch this video and uh, learn from it. Okay. And here we have a setup guide attached as well, which is a documentation for connecting with zoom. Okay. So you can learn from here also, right? After that, you can capture the response of that connection. Okay. So first of all, let me switch, uh, let me directly show you how to capture the response. So guys, as you can see in this documentation, you have to create an application in Zoom app marketplace for making this connection. So I have created an application and there you have to add a event subscription and in the endpoint URL field, you have to paste this webhook URL. Okay, so you can just follow the steps. Let me show you this directly. I am copying this uh, webhook URL and I have created an app here in app marketplace. So this is the apps name zoom recordings and here I am adding a event subscription named as meeting records and in this endpoint URL I'm going to paste this webhook URL like this and here you have to click on add events button and here you will find these kind of events types. So from here you have to select recording option and you have to check this box all recordings have completed. Okay, then you have to scroll down then click on done. So this means whenever you are going to complete the recording that is going to trigger the workflow. Okay, so you have to click on save here and save this right then click on continue and you can see your app is activated on the account is written here. Okay, so we are done making the connection and here it is showing waiting for the webhook connections response. So this means now we have to perform a test submission. 
test submission means now we are going to manually start a meeting any meeting and we are going to uh, run it for a few minutes and then we are going to record the uh, record the meeting stop the recording and the details of that recording will be captured here in this workflow and that data will act as a test data for us to set up the automation further okay so i'm going back to my zoom applications dashboard and these are my upcoming meetings okay so i uh, let me open let me start any meeting okay so let's say uh, this is a demo meeting created let's start this i'm starting this meeting All right, so you can see we are connected. So you can see the meeting has just started and I am alone in this meeting. Okay, so this is just a sample meeting for setting up this automation. So here, let me do a thing. Let me type here. Test. Okay. So this is just a sample meeting going on. Okay, now I'm going to stop the recording of the meeting. You can see the recording is already ongoing and I'm going to stop it. Yes. Okay, and after that I'm going to end this meeting and meeting for all. Okay, so the meeting is ended. The recording has been stopped. Okay, so let's check in our workflow if we got the data captured of this meeting recorded or not. And here you can see guys, we got the data captured of uh, the meeting recording and here you can see the topic of the meeting was demo meeting this is the size of the file okay and status is uh, completed and here you can see we got a shareable link of this file and here we got the play url of the file here we got the file type and here we have the download url of the file as well okay so we got the details of the recording and i want to save a few details here in my zoom in my google sheet application so this is my Google Sheet and I want to save these things here. The files name, the recording file ID and the download URL. Okay. So to save this data here, we are going to use this action step and here we are going to connect with Google Sheets. So search for Google Sheets here and select the action event as add new row. Okay. Then click on connect and from here select add new connection then click on sign in with Google and from here you have to select the Google account by which you have created that spreadsheet then you have to provide some additional access to your account that is completely safe just click on continue here and we are going to be connected in a few seconds you can see we are now connected okay and here it is asking for the uh, spreadsheets name so the name of my spreadsheet is this zoom recording links so you have to search for your spreadsheet from this given drop down list and select it then select the sheets name then here you can see it is asking for the file name recording file id and the download url so these are the headers of the columns we have in our spreadsheet so guys to get the data here you need to map the values of these headers here in this workflow so for uh, map for entering the data here we are going to use this test data that we have received here from zoom okay and to map the data here you just have to click here guys on this field and the trigger step will appear in the drop down like this and when you click on it you will see all the data so you'll find uh, so in the file name i'm going to map the topic of the meeting or the meeting's name okay recording file id you will get the file id here when you scroll down so this is the recording files id okay just map it and for the download url use the same process and you will find the download url like this okay now you can check your connection with google sheets by clicking on save and send test request button and a new row will be added here in front of you let me show you i have clicked on save and send test request and this is the response we have received let's check in our file and here you can see guys we got a new row added here automatically with the same details demo meeting and this is the download url of the uh, meeting okay now guys i want to upload this same recording in my google drive as well so this is my google drive and this is a folder in which i want to save the recording files so named i i named this folder as zoom recordings okay so for this guys just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up and from here we are going to connect with google drive so search for google drive here and the action event would be 
upload a file here you can see upload a file is option is here click on connect from here select a new connection then click on sign in with google then select the account by which you have the drive connected and from here provide the access just click on continue and you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected now it is asking for the files url that you want to upload the folder id of the google drive and the file name okay so file name is not a compulsory field you can leave this blank also as well but these two things are important the file url so you'll get the url from the first zoom step the trigger step so from here just map the download url like this okay for the folder id guys you need to open the google drive and in the link above in the search bar you will find the id like this let me show you this is my google drive i have opened it and this is the file path you can see sorry the link and from here you can see after folders and a slash we have this file id starting from here so you can just copy it and paste it here okay and you can leave this file name blank no problem or what you can do you can just click here and from the zoom step you can map uh, the or uh, meeting name for the file name as well okay but you have to mention the format of the file as well so you have to put here dot mp4 okay dot mp4 right now you can click on save and send test request to check the connection and the file will be uploaded here inside this folder let me show you i have clicked on save and send test request guys and this is the response we have received here let's check in our google drive if we got a file uploaded and here you can see guys we got a new file uploaded here inside our google drive folder named as demo meeting.mp4 and this is the same file you can see sorry this is the name i have placed here and the file is here so guys you can download this video or watch the video here only in your google drive okay so you can see i am playing the video so you can see the media and this is the same video i am muting this okay and that we have recorded and the same video got uh, uploaded here in the drive you can see okay so this is the same video right so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once guys after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that whenever you are going to record any zoom meeting you will get the details of that meeting added here inside a new row in your google sheet and the same file of the meeting will be added into your google drive like this automatically and the workflow is going to run in the background all right and guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel